Hi, this is Jeanette Lee, the Black Widow. Even as a champion, there are certain things that we continue to practice to perfect our game. And the biggest thing that we want is we want consistency. We know we can make the balls. We know we've got hearts like champions and lines, but we want to be consistent. Get rid of those unforced errors. And that means solidifying, perfecting, refining these systems that we have. We have pre-shot routines. We have shooting system. We have pre-match routines. We have tournament match routines. We have analytical systems. We have diamond systems, you name it. So let's get that down. Today, I want to talk about the shooting system. That's basically, what do I do before every shot? And um, actually, let's say, not the pre-shot routine, but when I'm actually shooting the shot, my shooting system. All right, here we go. I'm going to make a decision. I'm looking at this one ball. I want to make the one ball in that corner pocket, and I want to hit it with a high ball, come across its tangent line, hook forward, get right around this 13 ball, okay? So once I do that, I'm gonna find my smallest target, which is right there, basically aiming. And once I've got that aim, where my cue ball is going right into that ball, get right behind it, and I'm gonna lock my chin on that. Now I visualize. Now I want you to pay attention to my eyes because it's gonna go back and forth. Lots of eye movement. And I'm looking at the cue ball, one ball, hook, down, around, roll, stop. Here, boom, 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 boom. The entire shot happening, I'm picturing it. So after visualizing, it's feeding my brain and my body information about the speed of the shot, how much English, if any, to apply, what I'm going to do, what's going to happen. I'm just going to have a really good feel for it because I used my eyes back and forth. I worked it. Work it, baby, work it. That's what I did. All right, so I got that aiming. Now, do a last double check. Now I'm gonna get down. Here I go again, eye movement. Looking, making sure that my cue ball, before I even take any practice swings, zero in on that cue ball, right into that target. Eye movement to make sure you're exactly where you wanna be. Here I want a high ball. Make sure I'm dead in line. Now I'm gonna take some nice, Practice swing. Stop, pause at the cue ball. Eye movement. Couple nice practice swings, making sure these strokes are equal length. I don't want a short stroke, long stroke, short stroke. Whatever you tend to finally hit it with, that's the length of your practice swings. Each and every one, nice and even. Okay? And the last thing is, when you get ready to strike, it's just like a swing in golf basketball swing, a football swing, tennis swing, baseball swing. You want a nice slow back swing, pause, down, accelerate through. And you're going to strike that cue ball right at the bottom of this swing. So this is my elbow, okay, just like this, shh, shh, right? You're going to stop cue ball, double check, a few practice swings, right? And then you're going to take a slow back swing, pause, shh and follow through. So we've done the work. We know where we need to hit. We know what it's supposed to look like. We know what it's supposed to feel like. We used our eye movement. We've paused to make sure that our tip is exactly on the cue ball where we, we're not accidentally giving it left English. Accident, because when we get down, before we even take a single stroke, we're making sure we're exactly, let's say I'm looking at a face exactly at 12 o'clock or at exactly at 11 o'clock, wherever we want to hit it. And we're going to make sure every stroke is not only even in length, but that it's staying on its intended track going backward and on its intended track going forward. It's important. Every one of these details we practice for a lifetime. All right. So here I go again. I get down. Eye movement before I even take a swing. Pausing at the cue ball. Now I'm going to take some strokes. When we're ready, pause one last time. Do I like it? Yes. Nice. So, you know, I first learned about this stuff from Jerry Bryseth. He is one of my greatest mentors when it comes to 
um, learning and teaching the stroke and the swing, but again, you never know too much about this. You have to, it's all about muscle memory to get a feeling for that and you will get rid of so many unforced errors and get a lot more consistent if you'll make sure that you work on this solid shooting system. Thanks.